Good morning. Today we're going to be, be making a dessert. It's an upside down apricot cake. It's a favorite to my family and to all those who got to taste it. It's really easy. Uh, I will make it as simple as possible. It is simple to begin with, but you're going to enjoy it a lot. So the ingredients, there are two parts. One is for the bottom, which is going to be ending up the side up since it's an upside down cake and then the batter for the bottom we will need right here um, I have uh, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar minus about a tablespoon since I'm gonna be adding a tablespoon of honey which is gonna make the texture a lot better and smoother and, and much uh, yummier uh, one stick of butter, which is a little over 100 grams for those who are internationally, and a cup of walnuts, uh, preferably halves, small halves, and, um, and of course the apricots. Uh, we will need half of this. This is uh, 30 ounces. We will need the 15 ounce uh, um, apricot halves in heavy syrup we discard the syrup of course we use only the apricot uh, since i don't have the half of the size i will use half of this uh, can uh, this is for step one for step two which is the batter we will be um, having one cup of flour which i have sifted and it measures after sifting a little bit over a cup since it's aerated already uh, we will need four eggs um, baking powder, about three teaspoons, uh, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, uh, a tablespoon of uh, oil, and a teaspoon of vanilla. And let's get started. Step one. First, we melt the butter in the uh, pan that we're going to be baking the cake. It's a ten and a half inch uh, pan. We don't need to prepare it since it's gonna be uh, on the stove, uh, melting the butter in it. Uh, we just move the butter all around the pan. As soon as uh, the butter melts completely, we will be adding the sugar and uh, trying to melt the sugar into this butter uh, so we can um, reduce the amount of crystals uh, in the sugar because I'd rather a smooth uh, uh, and shiny top um, when we flip it around and uh, what's gonna help uh, creating that is also that tablespoon of honey that we're gonna add up into this uh, as soon as the these, these sugars um, this sugar crystals are all melted you can also use regular sugar but I feel that the brown sugar uh, you know give you more depth of flavor um, it adds another layer to the end result of the cake. Okay, this is starting to foam and to uh, get nice. Of course, uh, while the butter is boiling, it's gonna evaporate the water content in the butter and you're gonna have caramelized uh, kind of uh, uh, texture here. 
I will add the honey. around make sure you mix everything to be even at this point I'm gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna start my creativity in designing the bottom of this to become a beautiful top when we flip it over. So I will be arranging the apricots and the walnuts. I normally start with apricots so I can have a certain uh, uh, theme going on. So we take each apricot half and we place it in the pan, the rounded part down since that's the part is going to be uh, showing when we flip. Um, you, know, you can design it the way you like, I normally do it this way. Now we will be adding the walnuts, again the nice part of the walnuts uh, side down, as much as it fits. This is how it fits. Uh, so I'm left with a uh, few, like uh, four whole, four whole walnuts in here, uh, eight halves. And now we turn it off. And while this is cooling a little bit, we will be making the batter because I don't want to add the batter into very hot steaming uh, pan. It's gonna start uh, cooking the batter in a temperature that is not appropriate to make it, uh, to let it rise appropriately. And meanwhile, also we will uh, heat the oven to 350 degrees, 375, you can do that too. It depends if it's um, a convection or normal bake. And um, then we'll bake it. So, and here's how this uh, part looks by the time we end up. Batter time. Uh, I'm going to be cracking four eggs into the mixer, frothing it and adding the sugar slowly until it's really nice and frothy and pale yellow. Add the sugar slowly.
So as I was editing the video I made for the upside down apricot upside down cake, I figured out that the camera gave up on uh, the clip where I was adding the flour into the mixture of uh, froth egg yolks. Um, so I just decided to tell you exactly how to do that. It's a very simple step. After you reach um, a very froth pale egg uh, mixture with the sugar and vanilla, uh, we add the sifted flour. It was one cup sifted flour into that um, uh, egg uh, batter uh, in three portions. You put uh, the first portion and then you fold with the spatula very lightly or around the bowl and fold in very gingerly and, and gently uh, doing that at um, three times one third first and then the second third and then the third folding lightly so you we don't lose lose the volume of um, the frothed eggs and after that we pour that batter that now has also the flour on top of the caramelized uh, walnuts and apricots at the bottom of that pan and um, tap twice on the counter just to uh, release the um, gas or bubbles that are trapped within the uh, batter that we just added and put it in a preheated oven 350 to 375 degrees until it's golden and a toothpick comes out very clear. I uh, got the cake out. Uh, it has been sitting for about five minutes. What I do, I take a knife and I cross it, I pass it at the edge between the cake and the pan to make it easier to release. I take my um, plate, I top it over the cake, I flip, and then um, you can tap a little bit on the pan and slowly pick it up and ta-da! I can show you how it looks um, over here. See there are gaps and I have some caramelized butter and sugar over here. But what I'm gonna do is just scrape this and fill the gaps a little bit, which they're not too bad, but I like to take that extra step and not leave anything good <laughs> in the pan uh, but um, devour everything that it's in it um, and um, this cake is good hot or cold and like i said it cannot not become one of your favorite i'm gonna cut it to show you the texture inside and um, because also I cannot wait until it's cold for me to uh, have a taste of it. But first, I'm gonna make sure I get all the gooey stuff back where it belongs. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this deliciousness. start with the apricot. This is my favorite part. I can't explain. You need to try it. Bake it and please post and let me know what you think. I'm sure now Nicholas is gonna be coming and it's not gonna last until <laughs> the end of the day. Have a great day.